Alright guys, what's up? So today I have a guide for you on the Faldor Easy Achievement Diary tasks. This stuff is pretty easy, not that bad, not that much is required. Item-wise, I have some weight reducing gear. I also have Faldor teleports and some stamina potions. I have some coins, empty buckets, a hammer, rune pickaxe, a tiara, and a mine talisman. Levels-wise, you need 8 smithing and you must have completed Knight's Sword. You also need 10 mining, 5 agility, and 2 rune crafting. And that's it. So to start this, you're going to go to the Faldor Courtyard and talk to Sir Ribroll. And just say, I have a question about Achievement Diaries. And that starts it instantly. That's all you need to talk to him about. And let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and run north. We're going to get ourselves a haircut because we're looking pretty scruffy. Oh my god. I'm not going to get locked up, asshole. Chill out. Alright, so you guys want to go to the haircut over here. We're going to get a haircut from the hairdresser. What, if, what are we feeling? Let's, uh, let's change my hairstyle. A thousand coins! What the hell do I look like? I don't, I don't want to change my hairstyle though, man. What are we feeling today? We're feeling this. We'll go black. Confirm. I hope you like the new you. Wow, that looks fucking great actually. Thank god I made the decision to do these tasks. Alright. Awesome. So that completes that. You got those done. So you guys are right here, right outside. Use your bucket on the pump. Water pump. And that will fill that. And that completes that. Now you guys want to go to Faldor Park. And you guys want to kill a duck. Like this one. This like this one's looking at me funny. I don't like it. Oh shit, I can't kill that one. Do I need a range weapon for this? No, thank god. That would have sucked. Poor duck. I don't know what it did, but alright, that finishes that. So from here, you guys want to make your way to the motherload mine. Make sure you have a pickaxe. And make sure you have a hammer. And go ahead and... It's going to be uh, what east of the party room. It's going to be right next to the party room. Go ahead and enter. Climb down the staircase. And just south, there's going to be an entrance to the motherload mine. Go ahead and enter that. And you guys want to mine your way. Just basically make a straight path. I'm just guys ready to mine your way through these rocks if they're not mined yet. And you want to make way to the center. You guys see these, these water wheels, these struts. Now, the thing is, both of these are running. What you guys want to look for is when they stop running. Now, what you can do is you can hop worlds and look for struts that are already that are that are stopped or have stopped and you can fix those or you can just wait here until some, one of the struts just you know breaks and then you can fix that so i'm just gonna wait here and see if one of them stops Go. all right so here one has stopped so just simply hammer the broken strut and boom that completes that one so pretty easy you also get some smithing xp which is nice and that's one done from here, we're going to go ahead and teleport with our teleport tabs back to Falador. And we're going to use the agility shortcut, which needs five agility, I believe. And you guys want to cross this right here, climb over the crumbling wall. And that one finishes. Awesome. All right, so we're going to make a mine tiara right now, climb back over the wall, and the mine altar is north of Faldor, so just fo follow the path up. Just follow where I go, pretty much. Once you get to this little intersection thingy here, take the eastern path and climb up these stairs, and this time go west instead of following the path. You want to go through all the trees. And there was a quest here at one point, I forgot what quest it was, but we want to ignore these this thing right here. Keep running north. And you're gonna look for the mysterious runes. Should be at the very top. There it is. Oh, whoa, 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 what the hell was that? Alright. 
use your mind talisman on the mysterious runes. And once you get there, you're going to be in the mind altar. Now, I believe you just use your tiara on here. Yeah. And that'll make a mind tiara, and boom, you've made it, and that completes the task. Alright, so from here, guys, we're going to teleport back to Falador, and we're going to make our way to the cabbage patch, like, around that area. You guys know where the, the, the herb patch is in, in Draenor. You guys want to go to Sarah's farm shop, and all you have to do is trade her and browse her shop, which will complete that task. So I'm going to fast forward me running there. What is with this lag? Jesus. All right. So once you're in here, you guys want to trade Sarah. Okay, let's just run away from Sarah. And that completes that. You don't have to buy anything. Now you guys want to make your way to the Port Sarim docks. And you can just run south and get there. And we're going to take the boat to Entrana. Now... You cannot bring anything there that's like resembles a weapon of any, of any sort, so just drop anything you have. You can just tr make your way back and pick it up. Now, I think the pickaxe is the one thing I have that I can't take. Okay. And now take the boat back. And that completes that. Pretty easy. And pick up your pickaxe if you didn't have it. And uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're going to run south now. And we're going to go to the Port Storm Jail. And we have to claim a security book from the guards there. Or one of the guards there. So let's go ahead and enter. See if we can find a guard. Look at all these people in here. This thief's crying. And you, once you guys get here, you want to go up the ladder. And there's going to be some more guards up here. Let's go ahead and uh, find a guard to talk to. I believe it should be this one. Talk to security guard. And he'll give you a security book. And just like that, easy. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and climb back down the ladder. And we're going to go to the... Slayer ice cave thing. I don't know what it's called. It's like at Mudsk it's at Mudskipper Point. It's where wyverns are, it's where the ice giants are and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to mine some blurite ore here. <laughs> Climb down the trapdoor. And once you're down here, you guys wanna just follow the path up. And we're going to find some Blurite Ore. Just look for the mining symbols. Now, if you're a low level, they may attack you here, so be careful. But the rocks are here. I'm going to mine a couple. So, they don't, they don't take that long to mine. I'm going to mine a couple just in case. And, bam. Alright, got those done. Alright, so from here, once you have your two Iron Ore, or Blurite Ore, you want to use your Thalador Teleport. And we're going to use the furnace in here. Use your furnace, or use your blurred ore on the furnace. Alright, so now we have to make our way to Doric's Anvil. Doric's not that far from Falador, so we're just going to run north. And from here... We're going to go ahead and run north to Doric's anvil. Use your blurite bar on his anvil. We're going to make some limbs. And that's it. Awesome. So that means we have one left. And now we have to go back to Faldor Castle. So basically just run to where you started the tasks. Alright, so once you guys have made your way back here, you guys want to run... 
basically run east over to the farthest ladder and then climb your way up and then go ahead and run west a little bit and you're gonna see serenity sitting in a chair at a table he's gonna have like a blue robe on then talk to him and say i don't know what can you do for me he's gonna tell you about your whole heritage thing uh can i see if i have a family crest what is your name soup <laughs> let me see I don't think you have any noble blood, but I can see your ancestors came from Misthalin. Thanks. Alright, and that completes that. Now, apparently, there's something weird where it doesn't work the first time, so just do it again. And we'll just go through it one more time. Uh, let's say thanks. Alright, so, apparently you have to do it twice. Um... To finish that. But yeah, guys, that's it. We finished the Ephaldor one, so just simply make your way out of the castle again. And we're going to go talk to... Sir Rebral? Or, yeah, Rebral. Alright. And just say so you finish, and that's it. We got the Faldor shield, which looks sick. Ah, oh, looks so nice. This, this shield is a symbol of your exploration of Faldor. It can restore one quarter of your prayer points once per day, and you can now access a shortcut to the Chaos Temple from Birthrope. Wow, thank you. Awesome. Look at that. That looks really nice. And we have the XP lamp, which, of course, we're going to use on runecrafting. Anyways, guys, thanks for, thanks for watching. If the guide did help you out, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment if there were any mistakes, or if, even if it helped you out. I do appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Peace.